what laws like this do is they make people like me and afraid to speak their minds. It makes people afraid to share their opinions. It makes people afraid to say what they actually feel about this place. I'm here living in Tel Aviv for the year uh, to to be in Israel, to reconnect with the people, with the place that is so dear to my heart, that has been such an important part of my life. I am not a member of the BDS movement, but I believe that BDS is a legitimate nonviolent tactic, and I personally support economic and diplomatic action and pressure against the occupation. I don't know, do you think that makes me an enemy of the state? That makes me an enemy? Makes me someone who shouldn't be allowed in here? When I first heard about the travel ban, I felt sick. I felt scared, I felt angry, I felt sad. Basically what it does is it creates a travel ban based on your political opinions. I was always taught to be very proud of the robust democracy in this country, and I think banning people based on their political opinions is not a sign of a very robust democracy. I think it's like, it'll feel pretty devastating for me if I'm not allowed to come visit, and I think it'll be devastating for a lot of other young American Jews like me. For years, American Jewish organizations have have demonized, have slandered, have attacked people who support any sort of pressure to change the situation on the ground here. And American Jewish organizations who have come out against this travel ban, but have for the past decade invested millions of dollars into demonizing and attacking activists, can't have it both ways. I'm outraged that there's a chance that I might not be allowed to come into this country. I want other Jewish Americans to be outraged that there's a chance that because of their political opinions they might not be allowed in this country. And I want Jewish Americans to be equally outraged that this law is going to most likely disproportionately affect Palestinians and other Arab and Muslim folks.